Hi everybody, it's Oopspa, aka Kitty, and uh, I am here doing an outdoor vlog. Yeah! So um, I thought I haven't done an update in forever, months now, and so I thought maybe I'd give you an update um, if you're interested. So what can I tell you? Um, I have a cold. <laughs> uh, the whole family's sick. My niece and nephew got sick, and then my sister got sick, and then my mom got sick, and then my dad got sick. <laughs> And then me and the sister-in-law got sick this week. And so, uh, yeah, so the stuffy nose, sore throat, you know, and uh, that sort of thing. Can't breathe really well, but oh well. Uh, hopefully it'll pass really soon. I'm drinking lots of fluids, having uh, my vitamin C, you know, and, uh, and resting. <laughs> what else can you do? A uh, little fresh air is good for a cold, so come on, fresh air, come on. <laughs> do your job. So, um... Uh, yeah. Okay, so I guess besides the cold, there are other things going on. One is, um, I'm still swimming. Yeah, um, I had to stop for a while because I didn't know that uh, the salt water, um, it's a salt water pool, and the salt from the salt water uh, was ruining my hair. And so for a month, I didn't swim at all um, until we could get all the salt out of my hair. And Anyways, the trick is to soak your hair really, really, really uh, well and uh, because your hair will naturally absorb water and whatever's in the water. And so if I soak it really well before I get into the pool, it won't be able to absorb any of the salt water, which means it won't go all rough and coarse on me. So that's what I've been doing and it works out really well. Uh, for those of you who have swam um, in salt pools, you will be able to verify this, but salt water is terrible on your bathing suit, people. It totally like eats away at uh, the elasticity in the bathing suit, and uh, my my bathing suit, which I you know was quite fond of, um, <laughs> it's now like basically ruined. I'm gonna have to get a new bathing suit, all the while knowing that it's going to get ruined too because the salt is really hard on on your bathing suit so anyways just eats away at the elasticity it's really sad but that's fine <laughs> i'm gonna keep swimming okay uh anyway so that's the swimming bit and uh so I, uh, I have watched a couple movies lately, and uh, a couple good ones. Um, for the, the Romantic in You, this is an older movie that's been out for a few years now, and um, it's got Reese Witherspoon in it, and I'm sorry, but it's something like Just Like Heaven or something? I don't remember its title. I'll put it right here. Yeah, so I just watched that movie recently, and I seriously enjoyed it. I... <laughs> I thought it was really 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 funny and uh and i like the ending of course it had a good ending so yeah so woo uh but the other movie that i watched recently i watched a tearjerker uh the most of the movie i would say like three quarters of the movie or more is really funny and um it's got some sad bits in it and some frustrating stuff, but you know, it's a real human life story and uh and then they have this 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 crushing ending crushing and i bawled like a baby people i bawled like a baby anyways uh that movie um i i can't remember the name again <laughs> so um i'm gonna stick the little title thing in here but this film um if you're if you're you know want to watch a, a film that you know really speaks to you in some way i totally recommend you watching this film people totally i also think that you should have a box of kleenex nearby <laughs> a big one anyways yeah so that's the movies I am a keeping an eye out for unusual fruit. Um, I haven't found any more since the honey pomelo. Um, I hope some of you have found honey pomelo and given it a try. Um, my sister-in-law bought another one since and, uh, and we gobbled it right up. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, oh, I, I just want to say, uh, Wendy, you are super sweet. And um, I have been making, Wendy loves flowers. And uh, she and I, we talk quite a bit about flowers. Uh, some of you will know that I'm a bit of a, flower fanatic <laughs> and uh Wendy and I talk a bit and she lives in a very arid uh climate and um and I don't and I have tons of wildflowers that grow around here naturally where I live and she she says that her variety of wildflowers is much smaller and usually they come in reds and yellows and so she doesn't get a, a lot of different colors and so anyways I'm saying to her well dude like I'm taking pictures for you <laughs> I'm walking I'm walking the swamps I'm walking the fields I'm walking beside the river I'm looking for flowers just for Wendy and every time I find something I'm like click 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 <laughs> 
anyways and I put them together for her for the series this wildflower series I was doing and for her and anyways Wendy I I you give me an excuse to make videos about flowers <laughs> And so I am very, very, very grateful that you love flowers because you make me happy. <laughs> Anyways, and also um, just a special thank you to uh, Irene, aka Tweetness. Um, <laughs> Irene and I, uh, she takes my photos and she puts them up on Facebook and she she uses them um, for like her screensavers and stuff. And that to me is so awesome, Irene. I am so touched by that, like that you like them enough to do that. I think that that is totally awesome. And so. I just want to say I really appreciate you and um, and I I'm really glad that you're so enthusiastic about my pictures yeah uh, yeah you make me smile okay <laughs> so I do have one little exciting story and that is uh, a couple weeks ago the RCMP um, came to the door that's our rural police and uh, they came to the door and knocked on the door and uh, were asking if um, I had seen anyone um, in our property that the previous day at such and you know between 2 30 and 6 o'clock in the evening and I said to the officer no we hadn't seen anybody at all and I and I you know asked a few questions and he said well there are these tracks in the snow and I'm like tracks in the snow the only person who goes out in the backyard is me <laughs> so I say to him uh well I walk out back there all the time and he's like no no no, it's not you and then he starts describing these tracks that are going like along the the, the edge of the woods and I say to him mm, no, I mean, I really think that they might be my tracks. <laughs> I said, I, I, I walk along the edge of the woods. And I said, I, you know, I'm out there taking pictures. I told him I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> to which he's like, oh, really? Uh, anyways, and uh, he's like, no, 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 they're not yours. And, <laughs> and so then he started to describe them a little bit more about them going up between the neighbor's pines and our house. And I'm like, dude, those are definitely my tracks. <laughs> Like, I don't know what's going on and I don't know who did what, but I, I'm pretty sure that those are my tracks. And he says to me, no, no, no. He says, we're looking for youth. And, uh, and he says, these tracks went up through the properties and then onto the road. And I said, oh, well, I never go onto the road. So, well, not that way anyways. So it was salt. <laughs> The ones he was talking about were not mine. Yeah. So I was like, dude, are you going to drag me off? Like, I was a little bit like, uh, you know, a little concerned there because I walk around in these these back swamp wood areas all the time and never think anything of it so but uh, anyways I wasn't in trouble turns out that the there's a neighbor a couple doors down and they have problems with uh, it's a family problem there's a youth in the family who likes to trash their property every once in a while and so the youth um, had been in the back woods and I don't know if this youth had stolen stuff or what I don't know what the case was but anyways they were tracking his or her tracks and um, yeah and they just happened to come up along our property and so I don't know we never heard back so I don't know what happened but uh, hopefully they got it resolved and uh, anyways yeah and I don't have to worry no one's gonna cart me off to jail so <laughs> yeah uh, okay <laughs> uh, yeah that was it that was my big exciting news so that's it folks I don't have anything else left to share and um, and I I'll say see you later for now and chat with y'all later bye